It's garbage day. Yeah, Thursday's garbage day. We get to get rid of all of our old shit. Up the magic dragon, lived by the sea. Well, good morning, it's 11.07. Dressed up a little bit today, because we're going to the all-exclusive 2018 Cleveland Auto Show. Today we're gonna see new Buicks, new Cadillacs, GMCs, Fords, Hondas, and even Toyotas and Kias. So it's gonna be very exciting, and we really had to work to get invited this year. There's a lot of water here. Look at those rooster tails. So we got 42 total rain. It's turning to snow tomorrow night. Dang. Where are they? There they are. Somebody had too many sausage links. Today we are at the International Exposition Center. I see an S5. It's our first choice car. We're trying to get close because it is raining and terrible. Look at that well, snowstorm. I do have an umbrella. We had 70 degree days and there's still that much snow over there with that truck. They probably cleared the entire parking lot. Uh, so, I don't know, my expectations are, are quite low today for this, but it is something to do. I think last year was the first year in probably 15 to 20 years that I did not attend this exclusive prestigious event. You can't dodge it, ram it. What is, what is this? This is the other. So this is a door, Ryan. <laughs> what kind of vehicle is this though? Utility. It's a Chevy. This is a real utility. It's a Chevy uh, van. This would be great to haul engines and stuff in, though. It's got like a bed liner down here and some, some tie down like hooks. Building's all designed to be sprayed down. Oh, those. it's all designed. Yeah, you could flush bodies out of this. I don't know, guys. I kind of like this thing. This is a Kia. A Kia Stinger. See, see what I'm talking about? See how that one says Stinger above the license plate? Yeah. And this is the one that we saw in LA. I'm pretty sure this exact car was at the Los Angeles Auto Show got a west coast plate frame on it it says stinger not kia tail lights look badass thing looks awesome but then the regular version says kia i'll bet this is the 3m i'll bet you yeah you can take it off there'll be somebody who will make that happen that would be yeah i would definitely want it to say stinger in the back and not kia and this tail light thing's kind of funky how it comes all the way over the f90 m5s here I saw that one in la i think it was this color it may have been this car i don't know Probably not. 600 horsepower. This one's all locked up. What's the blue? Marina Bay blue. I have something, no idea. Something blue. It's a beautiful blue. This is more about the, F, the F90 in, in general, general, not yeah, this one. Think. You well, can decode the VIN. Yeah. It's got the Silverstone interior, full leather. I don't know about those orange buttons on the wheel. That's nitpicking stupid shit. It's a sharp looking car though. I like the tail lights. Looks more like a 3 Series though. So this is the 740E. What a place to be. Look at these purple lights, violet lights with the violet contour. We have power sunshades. Obviously rear windows, three stage massagers. Memory seats in the back. Two position memory seats for the back seat. Heated and cooled seats. DVD infotainment there with headphone jacks. Something's missing here, some control panel that they have removed. If I hit the eject button, this little thing gets an, gets an erection and comes up. There's all the seat controls over here. They're disabled, but this one's set perfectly. With the heated seat on, it's heating the door panels. So anything I touch on the door panel is nice and warm. The armrest, the seat cushion bottom, and the back. And look at these pillows. You know, cuss off there. Wow. Yeah. Never miss your mail on that thing. No, you won't. Mercedes has some nice stuff. The 740E is still my favorite car, though. That had the nicest interior. An old caddy. Classic. V16 from 1932, 6,000 bucks. That's a beauty. It's for sale. Well, it's a step down. So 
does like you actually sit pretty deep in there. That would be a tough fit. I, I don't fit in the 355 very well. Okay, Kenan left. It's 1.40 a.m. So we went to the auto show today. We filmed some of that. My favorite car there was um, surprisingly a 740E. So the 740 is like the base trim of the whatever it is, G01 7 Series, I think, or G03 Chassis 7 Series. And the E, I'm not even sure what the E means, but we sat in the back seat on two occasions and it was just ludicrously comfortable. The massaging seats, the heated seats, Heated door panels, heated center console, power sunshades, power rear seats. That is just the kind of place you want to be for a long drive. I'd love to ride across the country in the back of one of those. Um, second favorite car was probably the Kia Stinger GT2. Um, I filmed that. I talked about how I like the badge on that blue modified one. The Kia badge on the back just makes it look cheap. Um, I, I predict that Kia is going to do what Hyundai did. Hyundai came out with a Genesis, the one my grandparents had a couple years ago. Nate, the one your mom has in crimson red or whatever the heck they call that red color. And that was a really, really, really nice car. And it kind of was let down by the fact that it was wearing Hyundai badges all over the place. So originally when they came out with it, they badged it as a Genesis. That logo with the wings on the side, I remember seeing the first one in Hudson. I was biking downtown in high school and one passed me and I thought, holy crap, that, that's a new Bentley. And I realized weeks or months later, that's not a Bentley, that's a Hyundai. This is not an Elantra, this is not a Sonata. The Genesis was a seriously nice car. So then they spin off and they create a new brand called Genesis. And today, if you go and look for a Hyundai Genesis, it is a Genesis G80 and the outgoing Equus is a G90. So they kind of create a new brand and don't put Hyundai badges on it. I think that has done wonders for the Genesis G80 slash G90. So I would predict that Kia, which is owned by the same parent company that I think Hyundai is, maybe does something like that. Maybe Stinger becomes their brand. That's a pretty cool name. Uh, so I don't know, really nice car though. So that was fun. Uh, we came back here, we watched a basketball game tonight, we hung out downstairs for a little bit, was on the phone for a while, yada yada yada. Here we are, it is 1.44am and time for bed, we'll talk tomorrow on Friday. Um, Good night.